hello there and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be telling you about some recent favorite makeup products from Aliexpress I also just wanted to uh, give you a little bit of a like it's a, it's an update but at the same time it's not really an update because it doesn't really tell you much so I'm like I feel really bad about that but at least I'm being honest honestly as you may or may not be aware I do have a collaboration eyeshadow palette coming out with you can be which I am so excited about like extremely excited about like I can't point to words how excited I am about it but you can only imagine how excited I am about it a few months ago they accidentally kind of released a picture slash announcement about the collaboration palette um I've kind of since found out that I think someone jumped the gun on it and maybe they were just as excited as I was basically that was released a lot sooner than uh the palette was ready or a lot sooner than it was probably meant to be put out there you know into the universe as a result of the recent pandemic that's happened things have been incredibly delayed so the palette has been even further delayed than it probably appears to have been anyway with the this has been a series of calamities really the calamity that it, you know it was kind of like announced but then also the i mean i'm not going to even go there saying the pandemic was a calamity because it was a lot more than that there's just been lots of things along the way that have just um delayed the palette i have got word this week from my fabulous friends that you can be that the palette is almost ready it's almost ready i think we're talking maximum of two weeks away so i'm hanging on to that and i promise that as soon as i get any more info i will let you know immediately and i feel that this is imminent i like i really really do i just wanted to give you that update i'm really really sorry that you've not had any updates and that you've been in the dark and at the same time I feel like ridiculous saying this because I know that you've all got busy lives you you've all got stuff going on so I know you're not just sat around thinking oh my gosh but when is Amway's palette coming like what's going on what, why is this happening like what what's the delay I know you're not doing that but at the same time I I so appreciate how excited and supportive and encouraging you all are so yeah I just I don't want you to think that in any way that either myself or you can be uh ignoring you we're just not we we just have no idea apparently either honestly but anyway so today I'm just going to show you a sexy little bunch of my favorite recent AliExpress purchases so the first one is actually an old bay it's like an old an old ex-boyfriend that you just ended up because you actually realised that you were better off as friends, kind of, but not really. This is the founded creation that I recently tried out. Well, I didn't try it out. Like, I've used it before. It was a foundation that I brought back. I brought back from... From beyond. I don't... Did I? I don't know. Anyway, so this is by Beauty Glaze. It's called the Matte Me Full Coverage Foundation. And this foundation for me is a perfect dupe of the Total Cover Foundation by L'Oreal, of which is in the bathroom. And I'm so lazy. I'm so lazy. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I do not want to leave my chair to go get it. But do you know what? I'm going to. I am going to. Because do you know why? I am out with Twix this morning. So I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, she's going to Okay, so this is the L'Oreal foundation that I just feel the Beauty Glaze is a perfect dupe of. But you know what? I'm going to put L'Oreal back down there because this is not about you, L'Oreal. Not today. The spotlight is on Matt Me today. Oh, God, I just had an awful feeling there for a second. I was like, did I put mascara on? I was like, what the heck? I did. It's just my eyes are just so, so dark and... Oh. I'm not going to tell, oh my gosh, I'm so desperate to tell you. I'm so bad at keeping secrets. Like, I'm so bad at keeping secrets, but let's just say, oh no, I can't. Oh my gosh, you can be, will be so angry at me if I say, but let's just say, this eyeshadow on my lids, maybe, you know what. Oh my gosh, anyway, don't tell anyone. Shh, do not tell you can be, I told you that, like really. So this foundation, I just love it because it's full coverage, it makes your skin look flawless, it lasts all day, it is very comfortable. I knew there was one other thing, it's very comfortable, it doesn't feel heavy or oppressive upon your face, it just feels really 
comfortable and it just lasts all day it's perfect with all the things that i just said that i don't know why i feel the need to repeat again in slightly different words i, I always do that i don't know why but anyway i really really love this it costs two pounds fifty the only bad thing about it is it's a limited shade range uh, it only comes in five shades which this is very sad i believe i've got the lightest shade which is shade ivory and honestly she's not all that light she has quite a warm undertone on the face she looks identical to the shade vanilla rose by l'oreal so if your shade vanilla rose in l'oreal shade ivory would work a treat for you on your face i'm so sorry i feel like i'm terrible because i can't really tell you about all the other shades i know I'm, i feel like nikki chisora she would know she would be like okay so wear this this if you're this shade then you need to buy this shade and this shade get this shade this shade will look perfect on you but i'm just not nikki i'm just i i ain't we ain't anyway oh my gosh guys and i, I I need to try my drink. Today's a beverage uh, review, because yes, I am a beverage review channel now. It's not the main focus, just every so often, a little cameo will come in. Uh, so this is by the Sisters Soda brand, and it's in the, I, was almost, I almost said it's in the shade Pineapple and Cardamom. This is the flavour Pineapple and Cardamom, which honestly does not sound like a party to me, so I'm not quite sure what made me gravitate towards this but do you know what I like pineapples I, I have no idea what cardamoms there are but oh it smells nice oh my gosh oh my gosh yes maybe I made a really good executive decision the day I got this anyway let's see I liked it when I first hit my tongue and then I didn't like it but do you know what I think let me try again I like it. Oh my gosh, I do. I just wish, I wish there was a bit more, a bit more of a kick. And I still don't really know what cardamom is because it just tastes like pineapple. Okay, fair, fair enough. Okay, fine. Okay, so guys, the next favourite that I'm going to show you today is one that I've talked about so many times. You are probably sick of, oh, did you see that? Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I just spat out a little bit of my pineapple and cardamom beverage. But anyway, so... This is a product that you will be so over hearing about right now. But the reason why I have to keep telling you is because I think this product is spectacular. So this is by the DSM brand and it's the Pure Mineral BB Cream. I, oh gosh, I feel like this is probably my favourite face product ever from AliExpress. She just enraptures your face in like the most beautiful veil of perfection although she describes herself as a bb cream she's actually got quite a lot of coverage i would definitely say she is a medium coverage she has the most mesmerizing dewy healthy glowy finish she's one of those face products that when you look at her you can't really see like that oh my gosh like so say say i'm not me say i'm say i'm not me i'm and Karen, right? And then you've got me over there wearing this. The Karen will be like looking at me saying, oh my gosh, Anwen's face just looks so naturally dewy. It's so radiant, so beautiful and glowy. Like, how does she do that? She's obviously not got a foundation on. And then I'm over there just like with this on. What I'm trying to say here is, when you wear this, it does not look like you've got a product on because it just looks so natural. But at the same time, it somehow manages to do medium coverage but be untraceable. I just don't know, but I really, really love this. I would recommend, I think particularly if you are, I was gonna say middle-aged, but I don't know if that's the, probably the right terminology, but if you are if you have more mature skin like I do, where you may have some fine lines, some pores, texture, if you're kind of there with me, join the gang, like it's, it's generally a happy gang. Sometimes I, I think, oh my gosh, I wish I was 21 again. But most of the time, I don't care because I'm just so happy. Yeah, if you're kind of that kind of person, like if you're in the gang, then I think you would really, really like this. So, oh my gosh, we love, we love. Okay, so I think you will know what eyeshadow palette I'm going to be talking about because it's my favourite eyeshadow palette of the moment, apart from my own eyeshadow palette of course so this is the eternal charm palette by febble and oh my gosh this palette is eternally charming for my vagina because she just makes it so wet 
with how fabulous she is. I'm probably going to edit that out later, but maybe not. I hope I don't. So I have used this palette a couple of times now uh, in my videos and I just can't get enough. She does have a contender. There is a competitor here in town that's about to take all her attention away. But aside from that, but I absolutely love all of the gorgeous, jewel-like, sparkly, summery, shimmering shades. I think that this is a very cohesive palette because you've got the peaches, you've got the, the nudie camel, you've got the the mauve oh my gosh i forgot the word for a second there but you uh, oh my gosh sorry i'm blaming sister soda for that one sister soda sister sister yeah you've just got some beautiful beautiful neutrals and i just feel like the shimmers complement these neutral shades so well i think you've got like 101 different options that you could maybe produce in terms of eye looks with this palette the options are never ending. Well, they are because I just said there's 101, so which isn't that many, but you, there's just so much you could do with this palette. It's so easy to work with. The mattes are not your typical kind of powdery matte. They have an element of creaminess to them, which I really, really like. And I feel like, like that makes them super easy to apply. The shimmers, well, you've got many different types of shimmer formula. There ain't just one in this palette. You've got a crumbly, a kind of foil shimmer. You've got a dual chrome. You've got a topper. You've got a glitter. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love her. So nice. Okay, so I have been getting really, really into coloured mascaras recently. I find that AliExpress goes through different trends. So it, it was on the soap brow trend. Then it was on, you know, the like fork eyebrow product situation blend trend blend trend blend 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 then it was on metallic lipstick trend anyway now i feel like it's firmly on the colored mascara train honestly it jumped on and i don't see it stopping off anytime soon so these are my two favorite colored mascara brands from aliexpress we've got the hand i uh this one i really 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 like because it's got a super 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 tiny little wand so this makes it super easy to apply particularly on the bottom lashes i do feel honestly between you and i on the top lashes it looks quite shit it does it looks quite shit but on the bottom lashes wonderful i've actually got i don't know what i'm looking for over here but i keep looking i'm trying to see if i can find this but i can't but anyway so on the lower lashes today i've got the emerald green one it works so so good for the lower lashes you know just to add a little bit of like colour, spice and fun down there. So I really, really love the Hand I Am one. I never have any issues with stamping or just stamping, I suppose. Like, just, I don't know because I can't think of, I can't really think of what I'm thinking of. Stamping. Just, we're just going to go with stamping. Okay, so yeah, I really, really like that. The second coloured mascara that I love is by Key Best. Uh, this is the volumised mascara, which isn't very volumising, honestly, but what she lacks in volumising, she makes up for in pigment. It's a beautiful kind of pinky red shade, and the wand is almost identical to the Better the Sex wand by Too Faced. She has that beautiful kind of hourglass figure. I really wish she was volumising, because if she were, she would tick all of my boxes, but she's not. Uh, but she produces great uh, pigment. Like, you can really, really see this this colour coming through on your eyelashes. So I really, really love this and I have ordered a few more. Both of these mascaras are like so, so affordable. If you are wanting to jump aboard the coloured mascara train, you could definitely do it like super affordably and in style with Hand Diane and Key Best, Quee Best. I wonder if it's called Quee Best or Q Best or Key Best. I guess we'll never know because I'm never going to look it up because I can't be asked. Oh my gosh, I need more of my pineapple and cardamom beverage. <sighs> you know what she tastes like? A really cheap, dirty Alka Pop. You know, the type that I used to drink when I was 
when I was 16, you know, starting out in, in alcohol, just drinking the, the alcohol pops, thinking I was badass. Oh shit, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that freaked me out. But I'm um, drinking some of the blue WKDs. Who remembers those blue WKDs and the iron brew? WKDs, oh my gosh, I was obsessed. I never liked Reef, I was not a Reef girl. Okay, so the final product that I want to rave about today is by uh, Fuck, 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 Fuck all your. Yeah, are you fucking over there? Oh yes, are you fucking over there? No. Fuck, 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 fuck all your. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Sunkissed Monochromatic Blush Duo. Similar to the DSM BB Cream, this is one that I have incessantly raved about, but for really good reason. She is such high quality from the packaging to the actual product, which is obviously the most important thing. You get two uh, formulas of a blush. You've got the beautiful kind of satin matte, and then you've got the glowy, pop of radiance moment on the other side. Both of these are the most beautiful baby pink. The matte one does have slightly more of like a coral take. Should I pop, I'm gonna pop a little bit on because I did pop some blush on this morning but I feel like she's a bit shy. She's not coming through so we'll pop a little bit of this on. Oh, she's just so lovely. Look at that. And I do have a couple of NARS blushes that I paid maybe like £30 for. And the quality of those are no different to this. And this costs about £6. And you get two. You get two full-sized NARS blushes in here. So £3 each. And I've got real life, genuine NARS blushes and they are not a patch on this. Well, they are. They're just similar. They're just similar. So then it just makes me question like, why, why would I ever spend money on a NARS again? If you are a blush fan, you would absolutely go crazy over this you would go batshit crazy they do have a few other shades so i would urge you if you are interested in this go check them out see if any of them really just like make your pants pop off and if so treat yourself because you will not regret it these are just so good so good so good Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I didn't want to kind of cram it with too many products, although I have tried a lot of really, really brilliant AliExpress makeup recently. I just wanted to kind of keep the video kind of short, sweet, snappy, which I hope I did, but I probably didn't. But anyway, I really, really hope that you're all well and safe and happy. I hope your families are all doing well. I hope that um, wherever you're living, I hope that everything is going okay. I know that the world is in a state of chaos and despair right now and i just think that's all the more reason for staying at home appreciating the small things in life because the world out there is a scary place at the moment i just hope that you're all doing well and um yeah i can't wait to see you in the next video hopefully if you turn up i always feel like i have to say that because I just feel like I can't really expect that you're going to come back. I just feel like I have to keep it real. Like, you know what? They may not come back after this. Like, they may not. So I just have to say, you know, if you do come back, then wonderful. That's amazing. If you don't, then have a great life and take care. Don't hit your ass on the way out. I mean, honestly. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Bye.